Dear friends, it breaks my heart to announce we have decided the wisest and most loving decision is to temporarily suspend in-person worship. Due to the recent surge of COVID cases, with the level in Deschutes County considered severe, as well as exhausted healthcare workers telling us they're hanging on by a thread, chaos in our schools and elsewhere due to staff shortages, and concern for the most vulnerable in our community. Our session has made the difficult decision to temporarily suspend in-person worship effective immediately. It's our sincere hope that this will be for a short season and we'll be able to resume in-person worship by the beginning of Lent in March. We will continually monitor the situation and resume in-person worship as soon as it's considered safe and wise to do so. The Deschutes County Health Department and St. Charles expressed appreciation and hope that other churches will pause their in-person services as well. Many in our congregation have already made the decision to worship online or via television because of the increased risk. We're grateful we've worked, we've worked hard to continue our online and televised worship so that we have the ability to easily transition for this short season. We recognize the importance of connection. In addition to our online and televised worship, during this temporary suspension of in-person worship, we're adding a 30-minute Zoom worship service at 9.30 a.m. beginning this Sunday. This 30-minute service will include a, a short reflection and an opportunity for conversation and prayer. The online worship service will continue to be at 10 a.m. via our website and Facebook, and the televised service at 11 a.m. on channel 12, 612. Becca, our children's ministry director, will also be offering a 30-minute kids Zoom gathering on Sundays at 9.30 a.m. The church office will remain open Monday to Thursday. All who enter our building are are required to wear a mask regardless of vaccination status. Very small gatherings following our safety guidelines can be scheduled with Sherry Smith in the office, smith at bendfp.org. Throughout this entire pandemic, we've exercised an abundance of caution, prioritizing the health and safety of our congregation, as well as our neighbors and community. You know, we've tried our best to follow the example of sacrificial love and servanthood shown to us by Jesus. We recognize this has come at a cost. It's taken a toll on all of us. We realize our return to in-person worship this past November has been important and meaningful. And our goal is to resume in-person worship as soon as we can. We will continue to offer updates and opportunities for care, connection, and spiritual encouragement as we move through these difficult days together. We also need your help. Your help in letting us know who might need support and care. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Let us know of folks who, who really might benefit from pastoral care. We're in this together. Would you pray with me? Gracious and, and loving God, the Christmas decorations have been put away, but the promise of Christmas remains. God with us. You are with us. Your love is with us. And there is nothing, not even Omicron, that can separate us from the presence of your love. May each person feel a strong, deep, and abiding sense of your presence as we journey through this wilderness. We especially pray for those for those who are suffering, 
and those who are, are most vulnerable, that the healing presence of your love will enfold them. May those on the front lines, healthcare workers, teachers, first responders, be graced with unexpected strength. And give us an extra dose of courage and kindness for the days ahead. We're tired and overwhelmed. But we are in this together. We may not worship in the building for a few Sundays. So we ask you, O oh God, to infuse us with the spirit of your love that our worship might be expressed in the way we care for one another and our neighbors. Grace us with your peace in these anxious days. And may, may we love in the way of Jesus, bringing peace to others. Amen. Friends, friends, we will get through this together. Thank you.